So I've turned the camera on and I am going to select AEB, which is auto exposure bracketing. It's going to take either three or five photos at different exposure values. And then what you do is you put it into a software, say Photoshop, and it'll combine all these exposures and then you'll be able to have more control, especially in your shadows and your highlights. You'll have more detail, um, creating this high dynamic range photo, HDR. So I'm going to select this and slide up from the bottom. And you'll see that it gives me the ratio 4 by 3 or 16 by 9. And then the bottom section gives you the different settings. So 1 EV, which is exposure value, times 5P, which is 5 pictures. If I use this setting, it's going to give me 5 pictures of different exposures using the 1 EV step of exposure value. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe across and you'll notice now the settings here. At the moment it's an auto. Your EV or your exposure value is zero. Now for people that are beginning, I would just recommend staying on auto. Again, if you're beginning, maybe stay with JPEG, but I'm, I shoot in JPEG and RAW and I use my RAW files in Photoshop and you've got your white balance so you can set that according and if you did want to de-warp it then you can. Now if you did want to do manual then with manual you'll see here that you can select your ISO and your shutter speed and then over to your right it says EV negative 1.3 and you'll notice that the picture went quite dark. That's because it's underexposed by negative 1.3 stop. So essentially when it was in auto the EV was zero so saying that it's correctly exposed. So what I would do is I'm going to go to shutter speed. When I make the shutter speed slower, you'll see that the EV comes to zero. Now if I kept it at that and I took my photos at five pictures at one EV step, it's going to give me five photos from this EV value. At the moment it's 0 0.3, so it's a little bit overexposed. So I could probably bring this to say 1 50th. And uh, now it's negative 0.3, so a third of a stop. So what I would do, if I was going to use this, then it would give me five photos from this EV value. Then it's going to take two shots under, it's going to take one at 0.3 there, or the base there, and then it's going to take two shots over, giving me five shots. So you have a little bit more control if you use this. And I like to use this because I know my ISO is at 100. That's what I want, I want it to be quite clean, I don't want any noise, especially if I've got enough light, then I can have my ISO at 100. and then. I use my shutter speed here. So whenever I take these photos, ideally you want them on a tripod because you want to take them exactly the same. Uh, because when you put them in the program, you're going to be putting all those different five shots into the program and you want them to be exactly the same and line up. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to get some photos and then I'm going to put them in um, Photoshop and I'll show you. One EV, five photos. Okay, so I'm going to open the files here in um, Lightroom Classic, and I'm selecting them, and then I'm going to just isolate them. And you can see the five photos here. Uh, you can see the histogram, and uh, you can see the shutter speed, which will change depending on the exposure. So that's how the camera changes the exposure is by changing the shutter speed. So each photo will have a different shutter speed. I'm going to now edit, go to Edit In and merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. This window will bring up your five photos and your different um, exposures. So you can deselect them if you want. I'm gonna deselect this one because I can see in the highlights, you're getting this aqua color that's coming through and I don't really want that in my photos. So I'm gonna deselect that. And once I'm done, I'm going to tone in ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, and that's gonna create a HDR photo. I'm just gonna do an auto just to show you so that automatically adjusts it. I'll just go back to default and then auto again and you can see the difference. And if you want to modify it any more then you can put filters on and um, you can play around with it in Camera Raw. Once you're done, press OK and it goes into Photoshop. And then I'm going to save it. And that will save a copy into Lightroom. And here's the copy in Lightroom. Have a closer look. And if you do want to do further editing, then you can just go to develop in Lightroom. 
here's another composition. So I'm going to take five shots with one EV step. So here's another one, 16 by 9, one EV step, five picks. And I'm going to take five photos at one EV. 